Recently, a guy came up to me and was grumbling about all the problems, the troubles, the difficulties that he was going through. He had just recently lost his job for no reason. His relationships were in a deep mess. Nobody was trying to understand him. Everything was going wrong and he had done nothing wrong. And all through the conversation, he kept asking me, why is this happening to me? I'm sure a lot of you can relate to the situation that this guy was going through. I told him, look man, do what you can do to sort it out. If it's your fault, correct it. If it's someone else's fault and that person is within your access, discuss with him. Communicate to them. Very often, however, what we go through is neither our fault nor the fault of someone else. For example, a serious disease that we go through. We didn't do anything wrong to get it and nobody else did anything wrong to have us get it. How do we deal with it? Here's what we do. A little boy once came running to his mother and asked her, What are you doing, mom? She replied, I'm making a beautiful embroidered design on this nice cloth. The little boy looked up to the cloth, securely held in the wooden ring, the hoop, and complained, A design? All I can see is just some colored threads. Yellow, blue, red, black, pink, all tangled up, all messed up into each other, all complication. And you call it a design? The mother picked up the little boy, put him on her lap and said to him, Now look at it, my son. And the boy saw a beautiful design an incredible pattern, a systematic plan and a layout evolving on this cloth. The mother said to the boy, when you look at the cloth from your side, all you see is a mess. When you look at the cloth from my side, all you see is a beautiful design, a pattern, a plan. Ladies, and gentlemen, when we go through the helpless, overwhelming challenges in our life for no fault of ours or no fault of anybody else and we cannot do anything to sort it out, if we see and look at it from our point of view, all we see is a mess. All we see is situations and events tangled up and jumbled up to create that mess. But when we look at the same situation from life's point of view, from God's point of view, we see a beautiful design, a pattern, a plan evolving in our life. In fact, for a beautiful design of embroidery to happen on one side, you cannot avoid the mess on the other side. And it's not just the nature of embroidery, such is the nature of life as well. This outlook actually gives us a very deep sense of inner strength and fortitude to face such helpless, overwhelming challenges in our life. Thus I say, change your vision and your vision will change your